Hi, Morpha. I haven't had much success in calling up Morpha. Vacation plans. But I did have a design for a psychoscope chipset I've been tinkering with. I'd be honored if you found some use for it. I'll look for one your Morgan, while you're gone. I was worried Dalo, his rescue team, had intercepted you. They are NCA9 black box operators, not a rescue team. Rescue is not among their list of commands. January, not now. Yes, of course. But Dal, his arrival may help us. As long as you have not killed him. You see, Dal is a recipient of several neuromods. A standard array of combat, tactics, interrogation mods. As I'm sure you know, your father, the board, is very thorough. Dr. Igwe, please present your conclusion to Morgan. Igwe, if there is a point. Ah, uh, well, yes. You see, Dull mods are early C-series betas and vulnerable. As such, he has old-school thinking. Is this a joke? You've been trapped in the simulation for three weeks. Normally, the tests are only a few days long. Doctor, you? Morgan? Oh, man. Thank God. I've just been going down the contact list hoping somebody would answer. I'm in Trauma Center. I came up here to look for supplies. I think I broke my arm when that blackout happened. Now I'm trapped. Aliens outside the door. I could really use some help, man. No, Alex. He always has a backup plan. He must. I can't believe you were able to find it, after all this time. I'd like to listen to it now, if you're ready, Morgan. <clears throat> I have tried to see what I can access from operator. here, the contents but most of the, of the systems are, are locked down. Only a flesh and blood person could handle the responsibility, I presume. Initiating test procedure 29. Variant C, subject V-01-0655-32. Subject 32 is in the chamber. Psychoscope's on, everyone. Do you have a family? Prep the Typhon Cacoplasmus. I have a daughter. They took me from her. I was promised I would see her again. 
I signed your papers. Let's stay focused, everyone. Your family. You must hate them very much to do this. I hear it in your voices. Track his vitals. 32 is showing signs of distress. Elevated cortisol, heart rate, perspiration. Nothing in the red yet. Look at me. Look at the man you're killing. Mimic is in the tube. Permission to release? Morgan? What you do kills us both. Release. Mm -hmm. Typhoon cacoplasma ah, specimen is in the chamber ah, with subject 32. Subject, uh, subject, vital signs are gone. Make a note. Replication followed the usual pattern. Appears unaffected by the subject's age. Morgan, did you get a good scan? Yeah. Data looks good. Scrub it and send it up to me as soon as you can. I want a new design on the mimicry connectomes before I dive into the sim again. The security station in the lobby You weapons. Perform the procedure? The what? Killed him? And you knew? Why? And to think, Morgan... I thought you were trying to help me. It was an escape. Why would you save me to do this? To buy back some guilt? So I'd forgive you? My father is right. You don't understand. Your father, mother, your stupid, deluded brother. You will never understand family. You don't even understand what it means to be human. Get the hell away from me. I need some help. System alert. Repair is Tell me about the dream. A qualified engineer. The dream. Yes. It's um. It's always in my lab, and um, I'm standing in front of the glass. Are you alone? Uh, yes. What do you see in the glass? Uh, nothing. At first, I don't want to turn it on, but I can't help it. I have to turn it on. When I do, it's like the heart of a black hole, an immense darkness. There's something swimming in the black. I catch glimpses, edges of the shape. I feel as though it wants to come through onto my side. I have to turn off the glass before it sees me, but I always wait before I can. What does it look like, the shape? Morgan, I've been thinking about what you've done, what you're doing. We all must act according to our nature, no matter what the psychologists and priests say, and your nature. I think I was right before. You are like a rat, resourceful, sly, burdened with a kind of pestilence of the mind. This station was your laboratory. And the experiment was a failure. And, of course, sadly, you know what happens to the rats when they are no longer needed. Tell me about the dream. The dream? Yes. It's, um... 
It's always in my lab, and um, I'm standing in front of the glass. Are you alone? Uh, yes. What do you see in the glass? Uh, nothing. At first. I don't want to turn it on, but I can't help it. I have to turn it on. When I do, it's like the heart of a black hole, an immense darkness. There's something swimming in the black. I catch glimpses, edges of the shape. I feel as though it wants to come through onto my side. I have to turn off the glass before it sees me, but I always wait before I can. What does it look like, the shape in the glass? I, uh, nothing. Does it look like this image here? Dr. Calvino. Does it look like this? No. No, no, that, that's... No, I, I don't... Uh... Are you sure? Uh, where did you get that drawing? Have you been spying on me? I don't want to talk to you anymore. Requesting new operator. Call me Chief Elazar. Matt. Matthias, please. Forgive me, but your name is Sarai in the file. We've been over this. My mother Americanized it. Will we be spending the next 59 minutes like this? Because we could cut it short right now. We've discussed your mother. I thought perhaps today we could speak more about the career choices that were born of that. Serving in the military wasn't an excuse to get away from her nagging, Matt. I was just... restless. And you're better now? Not restless? I'm fine. Because your last tour of duty was the evacuation, and reports from there... I saved as many as I could. For every soldier we lost, we were able to save a hundred civilians. Yes. Tragic. Still, to lose soldiers under your command... The cost was worth it, both in lives and the unification of the region. Taking on a losing battle like that? Fighting. Not enemy troops, but the equivalent of a natural disaster. It wasn't natural, it was man-made. It prepared me for here, Dr. Cole. Because this station? It's the same thing, a disaster waiting to happen. We are well-trained and poorly equipped. <sighs> the research is dangerous. Keeping secrets secret is dangerous. I'm sure you would agree. reading the research, playing catch-up. Do you know how many times we've had this conversation? This is the fifth time. Does it always go the same way? Not always. What does that mean? What do you think it means? I think it means you should be concerned as my counselor. You left yourself a message. Would you like to listen to it? No. I think it would help. I said no. That's not me. Why do you say that? I don't know. I just know. You agreed to this. This was all your idea. Yours and Alex's. I didn't agree to any of this. That Morgan is not me. I would never. 
Do you know what's going on in Psychotronics? Do you? If I did, I couldn't say. You know that. What do you know about the Typhon? <laughs> we shouldn't talk about them. Not without your brother present. Them? You do know, you snake. How can you sit there? Morgan, take a deep breath. Here. I don't want a pill. I want this station shut down. I want Earth- Morgan! I said no! <sighs> okay. I'm going to call Alex. These psych evals are a waste of time. A waste of time? Like back on Earth? That was different. Was it? Anger, issues with authority, a year of counseling doesn't sound like a trivial matter. Those files were supposed to be closed. Are you angry? I'm getting there. Any new relationships? No. I thought you and Miss Foy, the sanitation engineer, were seen together. She's a sanitation boss, and we're not in a relationship. Not anymore. Ah. And this separation... Did it involve anger? Issues with authority? Screw this! I'm done! Report me to the U's, I don't care. They're putting the station at risk just like Transtar North and just like on Earthside. You assholes will bury it with your psych eval bullshit! Good and another thing! Carlos, don't forget that Transtar safety standards call for a weekly inspection of your uniform. Report to the hardware lab for a diagnosis. Hello. Good to see you again, Dr. Yu. Diagnosing. Bruising. Abrasions. Fatigue. Nothing like this. This won't take long. All done. Don't forget to complete a patient questionnaire. Your feedback will be invaluable.
transport with a medical operator. Then we can see about removing his neuromod and hopefully gaining a shuttle in the process. Morning. January was right. It was not you. But... I keep hearing your voice. And my father's voice. And... It was not you. I know. You saved me because you wanted to. That is not the same person on the recording. Something's changed. I need to see that. I'm... Better now. I'll do what I can to get us off the station alive, but that log is coming with me. If you truly want forgiveness, you'll help me get it to where it belongs. No matter what that means for you, and Tronstar. Stand clear of aperture. Dr. Yu, Dr. Igwe, we have the subject, Dal, and his life signs are stable. Thank you. We are prepping him in the Neuromod Division now. Come as soon as you can.
Event resuming.
Where are you? Escape pods. Can you get to us? No. We cut the power to the lifts to keep those damn things from getting up to the control room. Well, well we're, we're all stuck here anyway. We can't get these pods open. I don't understand. I'll keep spamming the security computers with help requests. Maybe someone will notice eventually. Yeah, maybe.